This is called Alone in the City. On tour. One more deceiver left me. One place Jim O'Farrell feels most comfortable. I like it a lot. We've had this in our live set for probably a year now. The professional singer could not think of a better job than making music. I try to write songs that are relevant, and, and that's what music is for me, it's that purpose. Soulful lyrics and a bluesy sound define this artist from Churchill. Ask me to free her, the front she... man of the J-O-B is living his dream. Yes, I, feel it. I don't think I could be any happier. But Jim's gigs haven't always been a joyride. The former ranger with nearly three decades in the U.S. Army led his soldiers through Ramadi, Fallujah, and Baghdad during two year-long tours in Iraq. When the firefight's over, that's when this starts. You know, you get a little bit of the handshaking, a little bit of this, you get a little tight in the chest and the throat. Harrowing experiences that affected Jim deeply. I lost a lot of people I knew around us. We were on patrols where we had soldiers and Marines that, uh, that didn't come home on the same aircraft with their units. Returning from war was not the easiest of transition for this father of three. It's tough to disengage. In the first couple of years I was home after I retired in 08, I kept waiting for the phone to ring. I kept waiting to pack my bag and go back because that had been my lifestyle for so long. Increasingly, alcohol clouded his creativity. He was on a path of self-destruction until one day, eight years ago. That morning, it was uh, April 30th of 2010, was my very last hangover. I haven't had a drink of alcohol since. And I don't advocate that for anybody else, but for me, it was a thing for me to do. Jim's salvation found in his strings. This music has it saved my life. And uh, this band saved my life. My friends have saved my life. A decade ago, Jim met guitarist Jason Crawford. It's an inspiration that I draw from. Jason admires his bandmate's lyrics, which reach deep into the soul. There's a, a perspective that Jim has that a lot of songwriters don't have that I believe contributes to the fabric of, of music. Their group, the J.O.B., has released five albums with a sixth on the way. Writing and, and recording and performing is 100% everything that I do. The 55-year-old O'Farrell is carving out quite the musical career. The group's songs even landing on the top 40 charts, but Jim's thoughts remain with veterans. It never goes away, you know, I'll always be a soldier. My flag right here says still serving, U.S. Army retired. Several of Jim's original tunes are dedicated to fellow men and women in uniform. I feel that it's sort of my uh, responsibility and my obligation as an artist now is, is to try to reach out to connect with those veterans that need to hear a voice that's like them. After 30 years of serving our nation, this musical military man back to me again. is now entertaining it. I wouldn't be anywhere near the songwriter or performer or anything I am now without having been a soldier first. I know that. For Jim O'Farrell, the rhythm of his life is finally in tune. Two things I wanted to be when I was a kid. I wanted to be G.I. Joe, I wanted to be a rock star. So I got the G.I. Joe out of the way. So I'm, I'm working on the rock star part. <laughs> uh -huh.